Hello, and this is just a quick little basic rigging tutorial on how to get a IK arm with an FK shoulder control that controls the entire arm as FK. I have here this uh, simple joint setup. These three joints resemble the spine joint, uh, the spine. This is the shoulder joint, and this is the arm joint with the arm, forearm, and this is the hand. So it's disconnected here. You don't need to do that, but I, I like to disconnect my, to split my rigs in this part. So let's start. First, let's build an, an IK for for the arm. Now here's our IK. Let's build a control curve for that. I choose nerve circle. Grab the IK and do a point constraint. Grab the this hand control and do an orange constraint. Constraint in all axes, maintain offset turned on. And now here's our our simple IK arm. Let me I need to freeze transformations here. Okay, let me now do a pole vector control. Control pole vector. So here's our pole vector. And now create a shoulder control. Constraint orient. Okay. So what we have from here is a shoulder control controlling the shoulder rotation and our our arm control. And what we can do from here if this is a re really simple rig, we can just take this joint and pair it to this one. So now it'll follow in motion. Okay. Let me now just uh oops, not now, that's not good. Before I, I want to constrain the joints, I always want to... Here it is. Freeze the transformations on my controls. So now it works. Constrain Orient. Okay, now we have a zero control. And now there's uh, plenty of ways you can uh, get... The only thing you need to do is grab these both arm controls and group them together to an arm group. Uh, I snapped the pivot by holding the D key and holding the V key at the same time and then with the middle mouse button you can snap to a, a point. The D key is just to edit the, the pivots and the V key is to snap things. So now we have our arm group with the pivots here. What we can do now is we can get this shoulder control, or better, this shoulder joint, depends on what else is controlling everything. Let's grab this. Should select the arm group and do a parent constraint. I'm going to reset the settings. Add. And now if I control this shoulder, everything will follow. And our arm is still IK. But this is not very special. The only thing that we could also do now is turn this feature on and off. So let's say we would want to and sometimes have this arm follow the shoulder as it was FK. But in, all, in other times we would want this arm to move independent from the shoulder. So how we can do this? Let's grab the shoulder and add a little attribute. Let's call this auto arm from 0 to 1, a float. Now let's get to this group. And you see here as are our transform channels. They have an input from the parent constraint. We can override those inputs. 
by hitting Shift W and Shift E. And that'll create translate and rotate keys on top of our inputs. And this will also create an extra attribute called blend parent. And this is our blend node for smooth uh, blending between the world keys and our parent constraint. So what we can do now is go to the window, to the general editors, connection editor. Reload this on the left side, this group with the blend parent. Reload the control on the right side and connect auto arm to blend parent. So we can control this blend node from this attribute in the group. And now if we it is set to zero, if we now move this, you see our our arm controls are staying as they are. And as soon as I grab this auto arm and drag it up, our arm will follow. So you can smoothly turn this on and off, this feature. I, I hope this helped you out. And see you in some other video sometime. Bye.